My name is Pete Bennett. I'm president of Samper Homes. I'm a residential contractor and I use tools every day for a living. I used to be one of those guys that had 10 different tools and 10 different boxes and carrying them all in and making several trips. I got the Power 8 workshop and started using it and it works awesome. Uh, it's really convenient and I can't tell you how many times that thing has saved me from having to go back to my truck or having to go back to my shop to get another tool because it's so versatile and it's got all these eight tools in this convenient pack. It really saves a lot of time for me and you know on the job site time is money. Power 8 workshop is no joke, it's built job site time. It's really convenient to have the AC-DC optional converter because it really lends itself to using that tool all day long. If you need to switch over to battery power, which makes it really convenient. So if you need to get to a location that's far from an extension cord or power source, pop in the battery, do what you need to, come back, you know, keep on going. I really use it every day on my job site, and I can't imagine not using it anymore. It works for every task I need it to. You can do any job you need to all out of one pack. I love using it. The Sealy Guide on the Safe Use of Axle Stands Firstly, position the vehicle on a solid, level surface, such as concrete, but not tarmac. Never raise a vehicle on a sloping surface. Apply the vehicle's handbrake and engage first gear, or park on automatic gearboxes. Next, chock the front and rear of the wheels at the opposite side or end to the one being lifted. Refer to the manufacturer's handbook or data plate to determine the weight of the vehicle and its jacking points. Then use a suitable jack to raise the vehicle. Now, place an axle stand under the vehicle, raise the saddle to the correct height and secure the saddle in position. Always position the axle stand in a strong area such as a thick steel component. Lifting on weaker or corroded bodywork can cause serious damage to the vehicle. If in doubt, ask a professional. If the other side of the vehicle needs to be raised, repeat the procedure, but take extra care to ensure the vehicle isn't dislodged from the first axle stand. Never raise one side of the vehicle more than the other, as this will destabilise it. Always ensure the vehicle is level once it's supported on axle stands. Once the vehicle is supported, remove the jack and place additional supports under the vehicle to guard against a deadfall occurring. This could happen when a vehicle is subject to sideways movement, causing it to become dislodged and topple off of the axle stands. Supports such as engineering bricks or large blocks of wood can be used. And when you've finished, use a jack to raise the vehicle. Remove the axle stands and deadfall equipment then lower the vehicle slowly. Repeat the procedure for the other side if both have been lifted. You can then remove the wheel chocks and the job is complete. Eddie Floor Removal Tools is proud to present the revolutionary multi-purpose floor scraper. This tool, which is easy to use, is ideal for your floor preparation job. It allows you to work quickly and comfortably. The Eddy Floor Scraper easily removes carpet, under padding, vinyl tiles, old adhesive, linoleum, and much more. The fast and powerful oscillating movement allows you to remove different kinds of floors without damaging the surface underneath. 
The Eddy floor scraper doesn't weigh more than 25 pounds or 11 kilos. It is thus very easy to maneuver the tool while it is still very rigid. Thanks to its removable handle, the scraper can also be used on stairs or in confined spaces. This all with the same effectiveness. The multi-purpose scraper is available in 110 or 220 volts and it comes with 4, 6 to 9 inch blades with side blades. Thanks to the Eddy multi-purpose floor scraper, your work in floor preparation will never have been this easy. Contact us today for more information. Eddy Floor Removal Tool I'm talking about the big tool rack here. Big tool rack. Big tool rack. Big tool rack. It's got wheels on it, and when you hook it up to your three point, just back up, pick it up, you can lift your legs up and just take off. It is quick hitch compatible, which is great. Hooks up to any category one three point hitch. Just go in the garage, hook the big tool rack up, everything that I need is right on it, and I'm ready to go. When you work during the day and you're trying to get something done at night, Anything you can do to save yourself a few minutes, so it works out really well. Tons of storage on the big tool rack. And it's a multi-purpose ballast. You can put whatever you want back here. Everything else is in all the compartments, all put away nice and neat. You know what I need? My chainsaw, there's a tree down. You've just got it. It comes with a rubber deck mat in here so your stuff's not sliding around get all my gear, put it in the big tool rack and just keep it there and go and I'll get way more done.
spend a lot of money, 20, 30, 40, thousand dollars or more on that tractor you can't take what you need with you when you go on your property so this big tool rack fits that need solves that problem it basically turns your tractor into a utv Introducing the brand new PDEV 250 Cone Chamfer Tool, drill powered or manual with 3 8 inch hex shaft. It can be used on PE, PVC, C PVC, PEX, ABS, and polypropylene pipe. Utilizing the PDEV 250 will allow you to chamfer pipe and have it ready for glue in seconds. The PDEV 250's cone-shaped chamfers a full range of 3 4 inch to 2 and a half inch 40 to 75 millimeter nominal plastic pipe sizes. Chamfering plastic pipe will prevent leakage and help solidify proper installation. The PDEV 250 can be used to chamfer the outside and inside diameters of the pipe. Just switch the shaft and insert it into the drill. The chamfered area provides an even penetration of glue, creating a better solvent weld versus connections made without a chamfer. The cone chamfer tool can also be used manually without a drill. Because of its cone shape, it can be used on metric or standard pipe and works great for PE water service lines. Hardened steel blade for smooth cuts and long blade life. This blade can be replaced or sharpened. The cone chamfer tool is extremely fast and economical. Nothing like this has ever been seen before. The PDEB 250 is a real problem solver. Get yours only from Reed. Miro Tools and Screws make it quick and easy to complete your next project, saving you time and money every time. Forget about squeaky floors and potential callbacks. Our auto-feed screw driving systems will fasten your subfloor and underlayment with ease. Fasten subfloor while standing up with a single push and screw down large surface areas in just minutes. Fast and efficient, load your tool with Miro collated fasteners and you're good to go. Used by professional contractors or do-it-yourself homeowners. The Easy Drive, the easiest and most hassle-free way to fasten drywall. Once you try it, you'll never go back. Fasten drywall faster and more efficiently than ever before. Countless labor and material savings on every job, and no more dropped screws or stabbing your fingers. Fasten your deck, dock, or boardwalk in no time with one of Miro's proven auto-feed screw driving systems. Drive screws quickly and consistently in a comfortable standing position. No more getting on your hands and knees or a painful back. We have screws for any project, PT lumber, composite decking, cedar and exotic hardwoods, plus an adjustable depth control for repeatable countersinking. No more raised screw heads. The proven solution for truck body, RV, trailer, and bus manufacturing. Fasten your floors and sidewalls without a hitch, even through heavy steel. Now we have our fence post cut, we're going to make two mortises in it for a post and rail fence. I'm going to introduce to you the mortise safe chainsaw attachment. The only attachment in the world that prevents rotational kickback whilst using the nose of a saw to make mortise cuts in timber.
about to demonstrate three typical mortises in rural fencing and throughout Australia. The first one is a stay mortise designed to house a stay back from a strainer. Number two is a scarf mortise used for letting in rails for horse yards, cattle yards, etc. And a blind mortise. This mortise doesn't go all the way through the timber and it's a narrow mortise following the profile of a rail.